guys what's up my name is Liz and welcome to my channel and thank you for joining today's video which is going to be a wash day routine with some of Carol's daughter's hair products okay so we are starting off in the shower and this is what my hair is looking like I did pre shampoo with the African pride pre shampoo um, I will link a video up above um, and you will you can see that in action on one of my other wash day videos um, But yeah, this is what my hair is looking like after applying that pre shampoo to my hair I had a shower cap on um, Covering my hair just to trap some heat in and if you guys do notice my hair is super short now because I went a little I I got scissor happy. So this is what we ended up with. So yeah, I cut my hair a lot. So anyways, this is what my hair is looking like. Feels and looks great um, per usual after using that pre-shampoo treatment. So now I'm going to wash the pre-shampoo out of my hair. And look how awesome my hair looks. Like it's so shiny. It's thick it's clumping like my curls are popping i'm telling you if you guys have not tried that sh pre shampoo um from african pride i highly suggest trying it out this is what my hair is looking like after rinsing out the pre shampoo treatment um and my hair also still feels and looks amazing so that's very awesome in a hair product to just make sure that your hair looks and feels amazing after rinsing it out. Now I section my hair into two sections to prepare for shampooing. And I like to make sure that my hair is super wet before applying my shampoo. For my shampoo, I'm going to be using the Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength Shampoo with castor oil, ginger, and black cumin seed. Now, this shampoo does say for weak, breakage-prone hair um, and strength and length system. So, this is more of a, like, strengthening shampoo, which I was actually really surprised at this shampoo. It was really creamy, the texture. It smells amazing, by the way. And this shampoo is awesome. I really loved this shampoo because... It is a strengthening shampoo, however, the moisture this shampoo provided was amazing, but it did not overpower the strengthening properties. So it was kind of like a nice balance where it did not leave my hair stripped at all, but my hair felt super, super clean and moisturized like this shampoo was amazing and i highly suggest um, trying it out if you're looking for a strengthening shampoo and when it comes to shampooing my hair i do like to apply the shampoo from my roots to the ends i make sure i work the shampoo really good into my roots and give myself a good scalp massage and then i do run the shampoo down the length of my hair i just like to make sure that my hair is super clean um, on wash day including the length of my hair i do not ever experience any over drying or anything like that so this is what you know works for me so i'm rinsing the shampoo out of my hair and when you're rinsing your shampoo out of your hair make sure you're thoroughly rinsing out the shampoo just to make sure you know you don't cause any scalp irritation or anything like that make sure you're thoroughly rinsing out that shampoo especially for me because i like to use a lot of product um so i do use a lot of shampoo so make sure you wash out your shampoo um completely from your hair after rinsing the shampoo out um, and my hair still looking and feeling amazing we're gonna go in with our deep conditioner which is the carol's daughter almond milk ultra nourishing hair mask now this hair mask gave what needed to be gave um, the consistency is very creamy that's the best way I could describe it um, and when I applied this to my hair y'all 
my hair like it instantly just melted into my hair my hair became really really soft um so yeah this hair mask it says daily damage repair um reverses damage deeply nourishes protects against damage it has almond milk al aloe butter and shea oil so this mask um very nourishing as it says ultra nourishing um very moisturizing like look at my curls like they just it's just giving what needs to be gave. So this is another product I would recommend as well. Um, if you're looking for a hair mask um, or a deep conditioner, a nourishing one. Um, yeah, highly suggest. And sidebar, I do deep condition my hair the same even though it is shorter. Um, I do my four sections and I apply my deep conditioner to the whole quadrant and then separate that quadrant and apply more deep conditioner to each section just to make sure I'm getting the inside of my hair um, with my deep conditioner. So yeah, that is how I deep condition. I will leave my deep conditioning routine linked up above. So now it is time to detangle, which I do go in with my wide tooth comb and I detangle that whole quadrant. Now this deep conditioner and it's like, it's not slip, but it's like it's detangling properties. Like I did not need to go in with a comb. Like I could have like finger detangling was a breeze. I just went in with a comb to, you know, really make sure that everything was worked through. But like the comb glided through my hair so the detangling properties also on this deep conditioner gave what needed to be gave <laughs> After applying the deep conditioner to all four sections, I do throw my shower cap on my head and I do sit under my steamer for about 15 minutes, but not with my shower cap on, so yeah. It's time to rinse the deep conditioner out of my hair, but y'all, look at my curls. Like, when I say my curls feel so soft, moisturized, they're defined, my hair is detangled, like this deep conditioner is like a fave like absolutely recommend uh, my hair felt and looked amazing so i'm rinsing out the deep conditioner in quadrants because i'm just going to go ahead and apply my leave-in conditioner also after rinsing out this deep conditioner my hair still felt amazing still felt soft moisturized and it also looked great too for my leave-in conditioner i'm going to be using the carol's daughter goddess strength divine strength leave-in cream so this leave-in conditioner it's from the same line as the shampoo and i really enjoyed this leave-in conditioner as I said, it's like the it's from the same line as the shampoo, so it's very creamy, but it's also on the thinner side. It's not like a thick um, leave-in conditioner, but it's very creamy. It applied very well into my hair, like my hair just drank it up, and it made my hair easy to detangle. I was just finger raking the product through my hair. With my leave-in conditioners, I do like to apply them in the shower. I just think it's better for application. My hair absorbs it better. And I put the leave-in conditioner on that whole quadrant. And then I separate that quadrant into two sections and work in more leave-in conditioner into each subsection. So this leave-in conditioner kind of felt like the shampoo in the sense that the i felt the strengthening properties however it still gave me that moisture that i needed so i don't know i feel like this line um gives you kind of like the best of both worlds where you feel the strengthening properties however you're not missing out on the moisture <laughs> Thank you. 
After applying as much leave-in as I feel I need, I do the exact same thing to the next three quadrants. I then throw a shower cap on to keep in the moisture until I'm ready to apply my gel. So now that we are ready to apply our gel, this is what my hair is looking like um, after it's been sitting for a while. I do bring out my spray bottle because you know with a wash and go the wetter the better. And I do take one pump of that leave-in and I just apply it to that whole quadrant. Just being extra and making sure that I did not miss any hair strands. So when it comes to applying my gel, I like to section that quadrant into smaller sections to apply the gel. And I do spray more water on the um, subsection just to make sure that the gel will apply the best. And I do make sure I work the water through my hair. For my gel, I'm going to be using the Extreme Gel, one of my favorites. And I just take about this much and I rub the gel in my hands, work it in, and then I start to apply the gel. I do apply my gel from the roots to my ends because my roots can be a little unruly. So I make sure I apply the gel from my roots to my ends and I'm just finger raking the gel through that subsection. <laughs> And this is what the first subsection is looking like. Now I just repeat the same process throughout each quadrant. I separate, I spray water onto that subsection, work it into my hair, and then I apply my gel from the roots to the ends, working it really well and finger raking the gel into my hair. <laughs> And this is what we are looking like after applying the gel to all four sections. As you guys can see, my hair is defined, it's shiny, it's clumping. All right guys, so it's the next day and my hair is 100% dry. My hair feels so soft and amazing. It feels moisturized, like hydrated. My curls are defined. Um, so yeah, this was a successful wash day. Uh, my hair is fluffy, there is no gel cast, so really loving these results. Highly suggest any of the products I used today. And this is the end of the video, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and support your girl's channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.